Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for September 8th to the 14th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about your day today, your love interest feelings, your block stage and challenges, and your overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on my Leo's romantic love life for September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so it's going to be September 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th. And this is going to be your love interest feelings. This is going to be the blockage this week, and this is the overall outcome. Someone finds you very passionate. Um, yeah, someone is very, very attracted to you. Okay, so, but let's just keep going. So if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, guys, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over your love interest feelings, the blockages for this week, and this overall outcome, and some advice. If you guys choose to take the advice, it's completely up to you. You have free will. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. So I see that there is... Definitely there's passionate energy still here, but we see there's this cautiousness, cautiously optimistic here. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's come to the blockage. All right, will this situation make me happy? I want to live in the moment. Major Arcan in there. Okay. Leo, I'm concerned that you left me out in the cold. I don't know how to open things up between you and me. I'm not even sure if there's still an opportunity here. I'm at a loss. What's going to have my Leo's romantic love life September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I feel really sad, upset, Leo. What's going to have my Leo's romantic love life September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm going to reach out to you. I want to communicate. What's going to have my Leo's romantic love life for September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. The timing is right for us. I hope the timing is right. My Leo's romantic love life, September 8th to the 14th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, someone's taking a leadership role to reach out to communicate because they have a sense of loss. They feel like they've been left out in the cold. They're not sure if there's an opportunity, so they're going to communicate with you, possibly with a text message, letter, or document. May even send you something because we see that this is, you know, the post office here. Could be an Amazon package. Okay, so let's keep going. So it looks like you're gonna be spending a day with somebody here and it's on the 9th and it looks like there's a sense of, oh my God, this is, the person here is like, I can see a long-term complete happiness with them with the 10 of cups energy. And everything is just aligning on this day. Everything seems to be going just right on the 10th, excuse me, the 9th. Yeah, you're really clicking with somebody here on a love level here. It's like you guys are both on the same page. And as I said, <laughs> there's, there's the chemistry between you and this person. <laughs> yeah, definitely lots of chemistry between you and this person. Let's put this card beneath here. Okay, it's a very racy looking card. Okay, so um, I can see on the 10th, there is a lot of waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Let's just see what happens here with the main person. And there's a lot of soul searching going on, hermit card energy. We see about an apology, a reconciliation, a healing energy, and wanting forgiveness. All right, so someone's coming back into your life again, it looks like. Someone who was uh, either you left out in the cold or they were left out in the cold. Okay, they're reaching out to you again. 
this is somebody you have a love connection or like very strong chemistry with, lots of passion and chemistry between you and this person. It looks like this person's going to try to assert themselves and it's definitely potentially something passionate that's gonna happen around the ninth between you and this person. And it's going to be like a debate within yourself saying, do I wanna move forward with this person? Can I really forgive them for what happened or vice versa here? And um, you know, it's like trying to be like really genuine about like, all right, where am I gonna go with this, right? Um, also, it feels like there is a lot of really nice energy around this situation. I see angels here. Okay, so, and it also feels like there's almost like a twin of flame kind of energy happening here between you and this person. Okay, so let's, let's go to the 11th here. So it looks like there's a confession, a truth coming out with the Queen of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. We see some news, messages, a visitor here. I've arrived. And we see... There's lots of romance coming in here on the 11th. I want to resolve this situation with family and long term and all this conflict. I want to bring this to light. I want to make you happy. All right, let's see. So the truth is about. So truth is being spoken about some romance and family conflict or even focusing on the long term here and being happy with the, the Ten of Cups kind of energy here. It's like someone's just trying to really be pure in their intentions, trying to bring everything to light, bring everything to the surface and have a conversation about this so something can change. Let's keep going here. All right, so far we see, I'm taking the leadership role, there's lots of chemistry and passion, there's this I want your forgiveness. I want to apologize. There's a sense of happiness around this situation. All right, so let's keep going here, Leo. So we got good news, good potential, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. So some good stuff coming in. There's definitely a lot of looking back to the past, like reminiscing about the past, looking at the past, and like really feeling bad about what happened and like how can I fix this situation? Like, things are broken here. I don't know how to fix this. I've been doing a lot of reflecting about this. Lots of soul searching going on about this situation. This is on the 12th. And it looks like there could be somebody like trying to give some kind of advice, you know, trying to be helpful about the situation, trying to reassure someone here, okay, about this, which is really thinking about like all the stuff in the past. And uh, this reassurance is this good news. It's like, look, I just want to be there for you. You know, I just want to love you. I want something to change here. You know, we're so much alike, you know? And it's like a, it's almost like a mirroring kind of thing going on here. Very interesting. Yeah, we see leadership role, lots of chemistry and passion, forgiveness, something is coming to light. Um, and it's like, I'm trying to reassure you, trying to, you know, it's like, look at these two people. They look like they're almost the same people. They're wearing the same things. And it's like almost like a reflection of one another in this good news. And parenting is when someone's like very nurturing, supportive, like giving advice and like reassuring somebody about what had happened in the past. Okay, so let's keep going. So it's like, all right, should I throw my hands up here and just be like, all right, surrender to my emotions and just contemplate this figure this out? Do I really want to, you know, give my heart to this person or not? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Because this is a real big surprise for me. It's it's a bit of a surprise. It's a rather unexpected here when it came to this situation. And it's like you're asking yourself the question, like, do I want to bring things together with this person? Right? Do I want to bring things all back together here? Blend this together somehow? Or do I want to focus on new love here? Ace of Cups energy. So it's definitely a, a lot of contemplation going on here because of this surprise coming in on the 13th. It looks like you guys are really debating like, all right, what do I want to do when it comes to love here? It's like you really want to surrender to your emotions, but you're very surprised about this and you're like, okay, can I bring things together? Do I love this person? You know, um, there could be an offer of love coming in here or there's like concerns about new love. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, um, because possibly, you know, there's a lot of passion between you and this person, definitely. Um, yeah, so let's see. Taking a leadership role, 
trying to gain control of this, lots of chemistry and passion, I want to apologize, something's coming to light, I want to reassure you about this passionate situation, there could have been a lot of passion here with this connection in the past as well, like um, maybe even a lack of commitment there around this connection, so it's kind of like a debate going on here because this is like the Knight of Wands energy for this deck. All right, let's see. So it looks like you gain new perspective, new understanding, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person's like, I'm single and available to pursue. I want to be here for you. And it's like a lot of renewal of the past, talking about the past, bringing up things from the past. They're really obsessed with you. They're, they're really strongly attached to you with the obsession card. And we see that they're trying to come in like with pure intentions, okay? Or there's concern about some kind of infringing party trying to give some kind of advice. Okay, so let's bring it all together. Okay, so taking a leadership role, we see main person that could be main person. We see lots of chemistry and passion. I, please forgive me. You know, I really want to just be happy here. I want to reassure you here about this passionate situation, and I want to, you know, I want to move forward and like towards our destiny. You know, I want to treat you in a better way, possibly there with that particular card. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, definitely connecting with someone. There's a love connection here, trying to find a creative solution, but there's definitely been some distortions here. Um, I wanna revive this situation. I wanna put the work into this and the silver lining to this relationship. We see the timing is right. We see lots of chemistry and passion coming in. Possibly a passionate situation happens here, we see, which is causing some kind of uh, reconciliation, apology. We see some conflict with family, lots of soul searching about this offer of love, renewed love, or new love. And we see there's someone who's really obsessed here. Looks like it's a person from the past. And going to the bottom of the deck on this. Very soon you're gonna have to make a decision. There's concerns about dishonesty and healing a situation when it comes to a commitment. We see a relationship and making an effort towards an opportunity, but delaying something because of a friend and we see missing you. And we see people involved and we see this ex-partner and regrets. Single and available to pursue. Okay, so you're getting communication. We see that there is this relationship, this, um, this love connection, and we see that a choice that has to be made with the heart. Lots of soul searching going on here about this romance and what has happened. Um, someone wants to bring things back together uh, because of memories of the past, a renewal of the past. And it does seem like you guys are not the only sign this week. Okay, if you cross watch, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, Leo, I'm so sad and the timing is right. We see main person is receiving messages or someone's gonna show up right at your door. You're gonna get some kind of package here. We see there's memories of the past. It's a real surprise about this person who's coming in single and available to pursue. I'm at a loss. I feel left out in the cold. There's a complete happiness coming in, a long-term happiness. Let's wait around to see how things are gonna play out. I wanna speak with you, and there's good news here about some kind of long-term potential. We see a lot of contemplation about love and emotions and a new understanding, a new perspective of this, or concerns about being naive about it. All right, so let's bring it all together here. All right, so how does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you wanna know about, how do they feel about you? Well, they definitely feel like you guys have a lot of fun together. You explore new things. There could be a lot of flirting going on. This person feels, it could feel like you're like in a relationship with you. They're your they're twin flame soulmate. They definitely feel like you're somebody who is ideal for them. Like we have the magician card energy. This is my ideal partner. You have everything that I need. They wanna communicate with you and go out and spend some time together and some alone time, okay. This person may be doing some sly slick stuff to get your attention. This person feels like they want to travel towards you and kiss and make up. This person is worried and stressed and hopeful that money and finance won't hinder the romantic love life. This person is trying to be mature when it comes to their message and revealing something to you. They're hoping that they gain the confidence, courage, or strength here towards a commitment. They may lack the word, they may feel like they're, they're lacking confidence here that there's gonna be a commitment, but I, don't, I do feel like this person's interested in some kind of long-term commitment. 
All right, so let's get back to this blockage here about the Sun card energy. Okay, blockage, Sun card energy. Let's see what's going on here. Restrictions, boundaries. You're really shocked and surprised about this. Abundance of loves coming in and a strong temptation here. All right, so the blockage is, will this situation make me happy? Can I be successful here? This is really sudden. Um, there's an abundance of great things coming in or is this going to be a great situation? I'm a little bit cautious about this and I'm strongly tempted. So strong temptation. Let's bring it all together. Okay, moving this out of the way. All right, overall outcome. Let's see here. All right, so there's a solid foundation here with the Four of Wands. A marriage, a home, something to do with that. And a decision that's about to be made here. Because somebody feels very stuck and stagnant and wants to make some kind of sacrifice here. So there's an action being taken here to make some kind of choice because of a stuck energy. So someone's making a decision here because of something stuck and stagnant around this situation when it uh, comes to house, a home, uh, a solid foundation. Um, all right, so there's, there's a solid offer coming in, a solid um, foundation here with somebody, all right? Something about this house situation or home situation, maybe even like maybe a party that's going on here and a choice that's being made because of this um, stuck energy. There is definitely someone who feels like their hands are tied, feel like they're trapped in their thoughts and there's a decision that's being made about loyalty and devotion. And again, it's coming out as this is going to be a rather shocking situation, okay? There is a power move being made here at this house, this home, or at this party situation, because this, the four wands can be a marriage, a happy home, a solid foundation with somebody, something long-term, and someone's trapped in their thoughts or asserting themselves. They want to fix or heal the situation with you. And you're a bit confused about the whole situation. You're not sure what you want to do because that's also where we're at at the end of the week, right? You're contemplating, well, what do I want to do here emotionally? Where do I stand with this person? I got to make it, see, you're trying to make a decision and you feel a little bit stuck because it's a little bit of a surprise, a little bit of shock and you just have a lot of uncertainty. Okay, so you see, I want to make the wisest decision here. This person that's like, I want to put the effort into this. I feel like you're destined for me. I want to go in the right direction. So you see, there's someone that you're very compatible with, very attracted to here. But there's a lot of emotions at play here, because that's that like Queen of Cups, like, all right, should I get my cup of love? Should I not get my cup of love? There's a lot of emotion ups and downs here around the situation. And so you're deeply thinking about this. This person's trying to come in and be romantic and take actions of love towards you. And we see there's the Magician card energy because you're their ideal partner. And they want to resolve this conflict here. And I want to bring things into balance. But there has been this emotional loss or the sense of being left out in the cold. And there's a cautious energy around this, a very defensive, cautious energy. Like, should I, should I not go forward with this? Let's go further here. And we go further and we see there's an opportunity presenting itself because of some kind of breakup. And we see somebody wants to take a breakup away, right? They feel lost since this breakup. You're massively shocked and surprised. There is a happy surprise coming in, and it's like, could be something passionate taking place around that. We see something sly and slick or sexy here at this party. So again, I, I feel like this is gonna take place at like some kind of event, some kind, where it, when you're out, you're socializing, something is gonna happen here between you and this person during that time. It is something you've been waiting for though. You're gonna get some kind of knowledge we see something around money and finance around this as well. That's hopeful star card energy or something of value that's hopeful. I want to make the wisest decision here. I have strong feelings for you and you're getting communication, letter, message, or document. Is it safe for me to love? I'm getting some kind of advice. I want to talk with you. I want to speak to you about this. So you learn some things, book card energy that make you really happy, 10 of cups energy, but you're like, I need to give it some time to see what happens. So we see there's something about this. Now, four of wands is, it can be a building, okay? It can be a house. So it's this choice, there's action being made. Twos are always actions, just like the knights. So an action is being made towards a choice because something's stuck and stagnant. 
you're getting hopeful star and star card energy. Someone wants to come full circle or there's hopefulness of this traveling that's happening or this completion or accomplishment here to overcome some kind of obstacles to heal a situation. And we see worries and concerns because of things that happened before with the Six of Cups energy. And we see it's happening very fast with the Eight of Wands energy and a lot of communication about the past. There's a defeated energy and an indecision here. Uh, we see because of a friend, because of more than one person involved, or because of going out and celebrating. We see, should I put the work or effort into this? There's strong desires here and a strong temptation, devil card energy. So you see, you're gonna have to make a decision about this. This is a person you've dealt with before. There's very strong chemistry and passion with you in this person. So let's find out what you guys should do. What should Leo do when it comes to the romantic love life for their highest sex good for the best possible outcome for them September 8th to the 14th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Leo, you should let love be your inspiration, okay? And I hear like almost like a, this car is going really fast. So love needs to be your inspiration. That's what I feel like. Well, obviously you're very worthy. This is a story of uh, love story here and you're about to be very happy and joyful so ask yourself this question does this person make you happy are you following your heart here are you being inspired by love be gentle around the situation you can be patient and see how things are going to play out if it's going to give you strength courage and confidence you're about to gain some kind of clarity congratulations on your abundance you don't have to do anything if you don't want to get centered and know that there's been some ups and downs here, but this has all been a part of your personal growth. You've manifested this, and there's no judgment here. Stay confident around this situation. There's nothing to fear here. Give yourself some time to think about this and be authentically of what you want. All right, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, guys, I do marry comments. So if this resonates with you, want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.